Hello and thanks for watching. My name is Joe Catrona. I'm an applications engineer here at Go Engineer. I have a video for you tonight about moving settings from one vault to another. Now, this is a question that comes up from time to time. Either I want to import some things or I want to open up a CEX file. The CEX is the Kinesio export. Uh, so either open it up and just bring in a few things or migrate all the settings from one vault to another. Uh, whatever the case may be, the specific example we're going to work with today is uh, importing settings from uh, one vault to kind of a sandbox vault. So I'll go ahead and log into this vault and we can see that tree expand out with all the different settings. Uh, it's very common when we implement EPDM that we'll say, okay, here's your production vault, but also we have a copy of that vault settings and that's kind of a sandbox or a play area, if you will. Okay, so over time, we make changes to the production vault. We add a data card. We change the workflow a little bit. So how do we upgrade if you will, the sandbox so that it also now has all the bells and whistles and it's uh, uh, kind of up to date with the the true production environment. It's a sandbox of the actual uh, production environment. So those are those two are kind of in sync when we start but after time uh, some things will change in here. So a couple of different things you can do. Let's say this is uh, this resume and demo is my production environment, and down here I have my sandbox. Uh, so ultimately, I want to import some settings from this vault to this one. So by right clicking on any vault uh, at the top level, you can export. Now it may take a little bit of time, depending on how much, uh, how many settings, and how many data cards and templates and so forth. But eventually, you'll get this kind of file starting to build here in a tree form. Now what you can do is immediately hit the save button. And this is a good way to back up your settings by the way. But you can go ahead and save that CEX file, that Kinesio export. Um, so resumen as of today type file. And that's a good way to back up your settings. Uh, but you may want to just go ahead I'll go ahead and say save there and close that down now one of the things you can do is go ahead and say open and you can browse to a CEX file maybe that same one or maybe some other and then you can go ahead and maybe drag some parts of that just a few things at a time so maybe you're just interested in digging out. You've got an export from a uh, sister company maybe. That's kind of a common example. And you're just interested in taking this one card and bringing it into your vault. So you can do one little thing at a time like that. Just simple drag and drop. Another thing you can do, if I go ahead and close this out, you can start on another vault and say import. And you can go and import the entire CEX file. Okay, so by double clicking in there, say, hey, you've already got this thing. You want to override it? Sure, yes to all. And eventually we'll get a dialog that says the import was completed or failed. Um, in this case, we're looking for a completed dialog. So we'll go, go ahead and say okay to that. Now, the, the real easiest thing in the scenario that I have a customer working with right now is we're taking some things that have evolved in the production vault we're just trying to update the sandbox so that our play environment is a replica of the production environment so in that case what I like to do is just go ahead and start an export file and then drag in the things that have changed if you're unaware of what has changed maybe you just want to drag the entire thing in you can do that but it eliminates that step of having to save it out and maybe you're aware of that the main thing that's changed is the workflow. So you can kind of browse all the way down to the workflow and just bring that guy in. Alright, so uh, 
I hope this helps. Again, my name is Joe. I'm an applications engineer here with Go Engineer. If you've got any questions about this, feel free to reach out to us uh, either at support at Go Engineer or uh, through our website. The the uh, call me function is is nice uh, to have our tech support call you at their earliest convenience. But either way, feel free to leave us a comment. Let us know if there's any videos you'd like to see in the future, and uh, give us some feedback. So thanks again.